He is the king of the infomercial. His face has been shown in more than 81 countries. He's logged thousands of hours of airtime every year. Tonight's Inside Story with Avery Haynes, the big life of Tony Little. These pillars are ruining my sleep. This is the Tony Little you know best. You don't look good. I don't look good. Over the top. It's technique. A screaming, bulging ball of energy. <laughs> the husky voice of a huckster. It is the most amazing fellow. The ponytail. You can increase your energy levels. The king of the infomercial who sold billions of dollars worth of products that bear his name. Tony Little's target training. A little bit of hypertension. This is the Tony Little you don't know. Do you ever get nervous before you go on air? Always nervous. Always nervous. Nervous before I do anything. Low key. After 28 years on the air, it's a little tiring to go, listen to me. <laughs> you know? Self-deprecating. I'm almost 58 and I'm just happy to have hair. With a life so extreme it seems lifted from a script. Your life reads like a soap opera. Oh yeah, life is pretty fast. Tony's early success as a bodybuilder crushed by crashes. I was the favorite to be a Mr. America. I was hit by a, a drunk school bus driver with a school bus. And then I was hit by a lobster truck in Miami. And then I hit the only hill in Florida and hit a tree. The string of accidents broke his body. I lost part of my nose, right? So it was split in half and part of my nose. And I lost part of my lip. And then I had a huge hook scar in my cheek. And then broke his spirit. I spent two years in, uh, in a small one uh, bedroom type condo uh, with no job. Obviously you're depressed. So I went through a, a lot of the drinking and a lot of the drugs. Shake it down. It's back. Drugged out and out of work, Tony saw Jane Fonda on TV and his brainchild was born. He would become America's personal trainer, selling a never-ending stream of fitness products and videos. But bad luck was never far behind him. From the bizarre... Abusive marriage where you were the victim. Yeah, beat up by uh, someone much smaller than me. To the unlikely... I got electrocuted twice. <laughs> to the completely outlandish, being propositioned by a hitman. The uh, FBI is looking for him because he kills people for a living. He's an assassin. Tony has bounced back from everything. This has been the hardest. The birth of his twins at just 25 weeks. You know, that was really heartbreaking. And uh, on top of that, uh, Melissa, my wife, um, you know, it was very, very, very hard on her. She suffered a postpartum depression. Yeah, it was bad enough for her to be hospitalized. And then we uh, found out her accountant had uh, been stealing. A bigger man might have been undone by all of this, but not Tony Little. I'm sure people are a magnet for bad luck, but I seem to, out of every bad thing, go right into a good thing. So I, I, when, I, when I have bad things happen, I kind of just smile like I'm waiting for something good to happen afterwards. You know? <laughs> it's weird, but it's really the truth. I, I, can't, I can't be sad because it always turns into something else. How are you? Okay. behind the scenes of the shopping channel. <laughs> this is great. Where viewers are about to get let in on the latest Tony Little product, with no idea that the man himself is the ultimate showstopper. I'll be here. 